So on this page, we're just going to look at equations and identify different things about the parabolas from the equations. So first off on this one, for each of the following, we are going to state whether it opens up or down, vertex, p-value, focus, and the equation of the directrix. The grid is just kind of for, um, you know, if you want to draw something out to see it a little better. So first off, because this is positive, it opens up. P-value is positive. We also know positive x squared is opening up like this. The vertex, we're going to change the sign here because that's minus k or minus h, and then the k value is correct. Uh, we don't need to change the sign there, so the vertex is 3, 4. Um, the p value, 12 equals 4p, so p equals 3, because we know this part of the equation equals 4p. That means the focus, and this is where you know visual can help. So here's my vertex. My focus is three up. So my focus is going to be three seven. If my focus is three up, my directrix is three down. So that is y equals. Um, looking at the next one, this is the first one where we're not really in a nice format. Now knowing that I'm aiming for this type of equation so that I can read it properly. Okay. I'm actually going to, I could distribute this negative eight, but I'm actually going to divide by negative eight and that's going to move into the spot where my P value is. So this is going to cancel on the side. I get Y minus eight. I'm going to take and make a fraction here. So I have one over negative eight x plus 7 squared, and then the next part is easy, that's kind of the weird part, then we can move the 8 over. So sometimes in algebra, right, we pick the method that's going to give us what we want, or kind of always in algebra, right, we're, we're in control, we pick the method that's going to give us what we want, and now we have it in the format we want. So this is negative, so we have that it opens down. Our vertex, change the x sign, keep the y sign the same. And hopefully that you recognize that that's just like um, our shifts, right? So if I do plus seven, we're going to shift left seven, which is a negative seven. Plus eight, we'll move it up eight, which is a positive eight. Um, so the p value here, we have 4p equals negative eight. So p equals negative two. Drawing this in, my vertex is negative seven, eight. My p-value is negative 2, so my focal point is negative 7, 6. And the equation of my directrix is going to be up to from the vertex, so that's y equals 10. So now we're going to look at the actual regions questions that have been um, asked on this topic. Um, so basically, I tried to cut every regions question that was on focus and direct tricks, except for the ones in the regions that we're doing in class. Um, so then you can still have those be new when you get to them. So this says, which equation represents a set of points equidistant from line L and point R shown on the graph below? So when they say this, they didn't tell me what these things are. But if I'm looking for all points equidistant from a point and a line, I know that that's the focus and the direct tricks. So first off, we know the vertex is in the middle. So my vertex is 2, negative 1. Now this, let's just see if this gets me to the answer. That means I have my equation, I have my fraction, I need x minus 2 squared minus 1. So I actually, this is the only one that's set up correctly. I'm still going to do the rest of this. My p-value is negative 2, which means this is 1 over 4 times negative 2, so 1 over negative 8. So this is the correct answer. Um, and sometimes on these, if you can get partial information, you can even get to the right answer. So we're going to do two more. I'm just going to see if there's any other ones that I feel like we need to get to. I think most of them have been represented. Maybe we'll do one with these weirder equations. So we're going to do B and C and then G and then the rest you can have left for homework. Um, which equation represents a parabola with a focus of zero, negative one, and directrix of one? So I always 
because I kind of need to see stuff. It's hard for me to think visually in my head, um, draw a picture. So zero, negative one, directrix of one, which means that my vertex is right at zero, zero. It has to open down. So P is negative one. My vertex is zero, zero. So writing my equation, I have Y equals one over negative four, because I'm doing four times negative one, X minus zero squared plus zero. And I don't really need to write all that. This is gonna simplify to one over negative four times X squared. Now I don't see that but I do see some things with fours. That looks promising. I see one with a negative four. And if I did multiply both sides by negative four, right, the negative fours would cancel. And this matches this equation. Which one, uh, next one, which one represents a problem with a focus of zero, four, and a directrix of y equals two? So here I have zero, four, and y equals two meaning my vertex is right between them. I didn't leave a lot of room for it. Um, so right now, just looking at my answers, I know it's a positive parabola, so I can cross out number two. Um, my p-value is one. My vertex is zero, three. So I have y equals one over four x squared, because I have x minus zero squared plus three. Um, the fraction is like lowered below the x squared, but this one is correct. So the last one we're going to look at is G. G is that one where we have this, and this is an alternative form um, where you're just going to move stuff around. So the y's and the x's are separated. Um, you also have no fraction. So that's the idea of like why you might write the equation this way. So different ways to get around this, but we're first going to get it. We're going to do the same way we did on the other page. We're going to solve for y by dividing first. I'm going to bring and create the fraction in the front so I can read it better and move my 3 over. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides of the equation. And that's so I can identify my vertex. Um, my vertex here is, change the sign, so negative 4, positive 3. We'll draw a little picture in. So we have negative four, positive three. I need to go up two, because that's four times P. I'm sorry, down two, because that's four times P. P is negative two. So my vertex is below my, or my focus is below my vertex at negative four, one, which means my directrix has to be above my vertex. Since this is down to, this has to be up to, so we're at y equals 5. So I really find the little pictures helpful. You're not required to draw them, but I just think it doesn't take that long, and it really lets you see and make sure everything's in the correct location.